All right, guys, welcome back into another golf ball review. I'm uh, going to be cutting open the Katie golf ball. All right, so obviously the cover test, it did pretty well. Um, it's a two-piece golf ball, and the whole claim around this golf ball is that it's going to add more distance. So obviously it's only a two-layer golf ball. It doesn't have that cast urethane cover that you want for control around the green. So, you know, the cover test, it's fine for its purpose, but I can't get it like a nine because it's not a urethane cover. You're not going to get that control around the green. So I think a seven for, you know, just the consistency of the cover, it, you know, it doesn't really, it was pretty durable. So I like that. So the claim where the 18% less drag increases the distance. I think that was actually a true statement by them. You saw it there with like the third drive I hit with the Katie compared to the Pro V1. That was the longest drive I've had so far doing these golf ball reviews. Now, maybe it was just the one odd shot that was well, hit well, pounded down the fairway. But, you know, I think there's something to say there where the claim is right. Now, I will say that this golf ball was pretty inconsistent off the tee. Now, you might have to do one of those center alignment tests and kind of mark it. So you're hitting it the same way every time. That could be, that might be the thing there with this golf ball that you need to do if you want to hit it consistently. But overall, the claim where you hit it further, sure, that's true. But you kind of expect that with the two-piece golf ball. I mean, that's kind of just how it goes. Uh, <laughs> these tour quality golf balls are pretty much adding more control off of the irons and around the green with the cast urethane cover with the other um, components that are inside the golf ball. So we'll take cut uh, uh, inside the golf ball. We'll break down, you know, the wedge test. So the wedge test, sure, it's not going to have control when it hits the green. But, you know, overall, it's pretty consistent off the wedge, off the iron as well. You know, off the iron, it was kind of a fine golf ball. Obviously, it doesn't have that same control that you'd want when it hits the green. Same thing with the wedge test. You know, it had a little bit more roll. Um, kind of didn't really like the sound off of it. Same thing with the putter test. You know, it was fine, though. Um, definitely wasn't as good as the Titus Pro V1. So there's the inside of the golf ball. It has the two, like, random Funfetti mixes in there. I know, it's kind of weird. You can see it's pretty thick for a layer. And, you know, you can't really chip it off. So it does really echo. Kind of what I thought, that it'd be a thick layer, really durable inside. And yeah, it's kind of weird because the paint over the top almost acts as like another kind of layer to it. We'll look at the other side of it. Just kind of a normal inside of a golf ball. Kind of surprised it only has the two fun Fetty mixes in there. And then overall for the smell test, just to finish it off, it doesn't really have that new shoe smell that we want. Overall, overall this golf ball, I'm going to give it a 5.3. But I will say it does do its claim about going further off the tee. So it does have that redeeming grace to it. Other than that, I would never see myself kind of gaming this golf ball. It doesn't really seem worth the purchase. But if you guys do want to game it, you know, play it for yourself. It is a cool golf ball. And, you know, it's kind of fun to try a new golf ball. Kind of a different design. Maybe you do want to get that added extra distance off the tee. This could be the golf ball for you. But that's it. That's the, that's the KD golf ball review really for you. So what you just saw is going to be a weekly thing. I'm going to be doing highlight videos and also what's inside the golf ball, doing the grades breakdown. It'll be a two-part video. One will be kind of just breaking down the shot performances of it, doing the test on site, and then we'll come back in the labs here, the lab, <laughs> and we'll uh, see what's inside, and then we'll do a kind of an overall grade breakdown. And at the end of this kind of series of 2020, we'll give you guys the best performing golf ball in 2020. So stay tuned. Should be a good one. Oh, and in the comment section below, let me know what golf ball you guys want to see next, and I'll try to make that happen for you relatively quickly. So I'll be happy to help you guys out. Let's do it. 9 to 5 Sports. Finn Dawson. We out.